Hi, it's Jill with Crick Flex. Um, I'm going to do, this is going to be the shortest video in history. Um, on my last video, I was showing a dagger invite that I was making, and I was having a serrated um, stitch that I wanted to put across the handle of the dagger, and I didn't know how to size the triangle itself, the, the stitch that I was using, and I was mentioned it on the video and thank you Janine and thank you Tammy both because both of you responded back to me and told me how to do it so I'm going to do a real quick video here and just show everybody um, in case it's a really neat thing to do I, I love it especially for post um, stitching on things but I know I do not use these cuts the way that I would use them because I didn't know how to size them and now you guys told me and it's a piece of cake um, first of all, I'm going to go in here. I just made a box, just a random box, and I'm going to color it a random color. Then I'm going to go back to my knife, and I'm going to pick my triangle that I was having such an issue with. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove auto-apply, because the minute you do auto-apply and you let go of your cursor, it's going to cut your image. I do not want it to cut it. I'm going to draw it across, and I want it smaller. So if I go and I zoom in, Right here is a little slider bar, and you slide this, and it sizes your image. And that's what I wanted when I was making that faux stitching. Now, I'm going to try and see if on this you can go up or down. Oh, no, that's to go the other direction there. That would be my next question to um, Janine or Tammy, if you could tell me how do I um, size it. Oh, I think I know. Let me see. If I want to size it... Oh, um, auto select, I don't want to do that yet. So if I select it, and this maybe makes it smaller going up and down. But then if I hit apply selected knife, it cuts my paper. Um, again, I'm going to do the sawtooth. Whoops, remove the auto apply, cut across, go to your slider, and go to whatever direction you want, larger or smaller then hit apply and it cuts. Square, same thing. Whoops, I auto cut that. See, now if I remove the auto cut, and I know there's some of you out there watching that are going, okay, you've always been doing this. I never knew until you guys told me. And I think when I made it the other side size the other day, it was purely accidental. Um, but that is how it's done. That is all there is to this video. Um, but I just wanted to share this with those of you that are newer users or didn't know how to do it either. Um, and I guess for right now, that's going to be it. I would like to tell everybody to have a very, 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 very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Um, I don't know when my next bit when I'll be doing my next video. Uh, the Christmas isn't for a week. However, um, I'm busy doing the last minute stuff like everybody else, I'm sure. If I don't do one, I just want to make sure everybody knows I'm thinking of you. I appreciate so much all of you viewers and people that follow me. And most of all, all the kind words. You guys are just so awesome and so nice and just makes my day. I have to check my YouTube every morning because I know somebody out there is going to say something that's going to make my day, and I so much appreciate it. So thank you again, and um, big hugs to everybody. Have a nice one. Bye-bye.